Mornings. It's What's for Breakfast. We're all set to begin, so let's dive right in to bikers, dice, and bars. Talking bicycles and motorbikes, gamer things and all the like. You can listen to it in your cars, but mostly it's about dive bars. Bikers, dice, and bars. Welcome to a, another Bikers Dice and Bars Character Jam. We are recording this after hours, after we are good and tanked, where we will take uh, you, the listener, and us, the participants, through the character creation of a role-playing game that you may know. This time around, the role-playing game of choice is Pugmire. Pugmire! <laughs> The fantasy role playing game where you play dogs with Who swords. Dogs, dogs with swords. That's pretty significant. It's not just dogs. <laughs> it's not just dogs, right? <laughs> I'm NPC. I'm just Jacob. Dr. Xander Gerrymander. And joining us for this episode are Lindsay Green. Poppy Beaujolais. All right. This is going to be an exciting episode. This is going to be our biggest one so far, but we have opened a brand new bottle. So carrying forth the tradition from the episode that we just recorded, this is a dog themed beer called for a dog themed game. This is hair of the dog green dot made with our natural environment in mind. The noble aroma of fresh hops greets the nose. Orange marmalade and pineapple flavors mingle with hop resins and an intriguing bitterness. We use Pilsner malt to give this beer a crisp and clean finish while maintaining a light body. Think green. Think green, everyone. Here's not green. I'm not drinking the beer <laughs> well, because I in Chicago didn't during get the memo. Of time. All right. Pour us up here, Xander, while we look through the rules of this game. So Pugmire. I want to give you a little bit of backstory on Pugmire. I'll read the back. Be a good dog. Protect your home. Be loyal to those who are true. These are the words of the Code of Man. Dogs have inherited the world, building the kingdom of Pugmire untold centuries after the ages of man are over. These dogs have been uplifted to use tools and language, and they seek to rediscover the ruins of the old ones. Some have learned to use the leftover technology of humanity but they believe it to be magic handed to them by their lost gods. Others seek to create an ideal civilization using a code of man compiled from ancient fragmentary lore left behind by humanity. The world is dangerous and mysterious, but good dogs will persevere. I like to imagine that somewhere in this world, there is a half buried statue of Liberty at a beach somewhere. <laughs> oh, you killed them all <laughs> damn you dirty dogs you damn dirty cats <laughs> okay just the cat hating just needs to stop disagree <laughs> strongly disagree uh, cats are viewed in a negative light in the world of Pugmire I believe so oh no they're seen as duplicitous assassins and scoundrels and political assholes I as know well, so they should they're be. so cute so it's about the same as the They're normal world. <laughs> you never know what they're thinking, and they could betray you at a moment's yeah. notice. That's what makes it yeah, so exciting. Yeah, because they're cats. Any cat that follows you in battle might suddenly stab you in the back. <laughs> That's just why for he's fun. following you in battle. Uh, yeah, it's like the real world, motherfuckers. Get on the <laughs> get on the truck here. So this is the game of Pugmire. Pugmire is mostly based on fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons. In it, you have your classic six stats, if you're familiar with that game. You have concept of advantages and disadvantages. You have basic skill allotment and uh, feats in the form of what they call tricks. Mm. Mm. Wait, a trick like... Hey, guys. (laughs) Hey, guys. (laughs) (laughs) The Joining us for this character jam is, <laughs> is again <laughs> Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell, the dog who barks whenever you say, Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> I love you so much. Oliver Cromwell, 
the oppressor of Irish setters everywhere. <laughs> oh! That's, that's, All that's right. right. So here's how character creation works in this game. What we're going to do is build a party of adventurers who are going to venture forth into the world of Pugmire, mm. explore the unknown, find relics of the lost age, and perhaps benefit their standing in society or the kingdom of Pugmire. Mm. Or maybe they'll make a name on their own. Maybe they'll strike off and do their own thing. <clears throat> or maybe they are loyal adventurers to the kingdom of Pugmire. Mm. What you have to first do is choose what's called a calling. <gasps> Can I be a Pekingese? Hold on. That, we'll get calling? to that. Ah! So a calling <laughs> is kind of like a character class if you're familiar with D&D. Uh, callings will give you a number of things, but uh, I'm just going to go over them. Yeah, what are, what are our options? Your options are artisan. Artisans are dogs dedicated to the study of magic, particularly the magic behind masterwork relics. Guardians. Guardians are warriors, dogs that keep the peace with a sharp word or fight monsters with a keen blade. Look at the guardian. Oh, it's, it's a corgi. corgi. It's a corgi. That corgi has the longest legs of any corgi I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> He's got extensions. This is fine. Hunters. Hunters are dogs that explore the wild places around Pugmire. They don't fully live in civilization, nor are they strays that wander in the wilderness. Rather, they consider the dangerous and untamed areas of the world their personal battlegrounds, because that's where the real monsters live. <laughs> monsters! Ratters! Ooh. Ratters are trackers, rogues, and criminals of the cities digging up things that have been forgotten. Look at the papillon! Oh my god, it's a papillon! Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I take a picture of that, hold on. Yep. So is there no correlation between these various callings and the breeds? Could yeah. you be no, a Great Papillon. Dane breed ratter, for yeah. example? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems unlikely, but plausible. Yeah. Your breed is basically what you would consider a race in a normal game. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, there are shepherds. The, uh, the Church of Man has brought many positive things to Pugmire, and the shepherds are one of the most common examples. Shepherds guard the hearts and souls of those around them, both through their wisdom and and the power of their faith. Strays, nomadic wanderers, stalwart survivors, and feral warriors. Strays are robust dogs that have abandoned civilization to live in the wilderness. That's it. There you go. Okay. So to review, because I know Poppy wasn't listening. Nope. I think I got it. But just in case, say it all again, because I wasn't listening. Artisans are mages. Guardians are warriors. Hunters are rangers. Ratters are rogues, shepherds are clerics, and strays are what the fuck ever. Um, <laughs> strays are basically like a builder. Warrior. No, strays it? are barbarians. Ah, Guardians? Sure. Guardians. They have, they feral warriors. D, they have a D12. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's a really like one-to-one, essentially? It's basically wow. D&D, yeah. So, so that means that you could create a character in Pugmire and conceivably play them in a 5th edition D&D game. You really can yeah. the numbers line up it has the advantage and disadvantage it has the basic skill system yeah. it has the same hit dice yeah. the names are slightly changed you don't sure. have hit points you have stamina you sure. don't have hit dice you have stamina dice uh you know but it's basically you don't have feats you have tricks tricks sure but essentially it's fifth edition D D. Yeah. If you wanted to include a dog based culture in yeah. your fifth edition D D game, you could utilize Bugmire for that. All right, look, guys, let's build a party. All right. I'm happy to take the shepherd role. All right. We got a person who wants to be the cleric. Right wow. off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> that's usually what I like being, but that's okay. Oh, I love the cleric. Everybody's like, who has to be the cleric? Oh, I don't want to be. And me, I'm like, I'll be the cleric, please. Guardian. I Guardian. just like herding Guardian. dogs. Guardian. So Guardian. that's inappropriate. Well, actually, it was going down for the cleric. Guardian. All right. Okay, Poppy is going to be the guardian, so you're going to hit things with a stick yes. and probably carry a big I, shield. I like this stick. Don't very you mean much. a rolled up newspaper and mostly stick? called shots to the nose? Would you throw the stick and I will go get it for you? I'd like to equip a Poppy, squirt bottle. What? Poppy, what? 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 Can see? What? Where? Where? Squirrel. Squirrel. I see this game feeding into multiple members of this table's ADD. <laughs> okay, what about the two of you? Uh, what was the rogue character again? What was one of the, the middle? ratter? Yeah, ratter. Okay, Done. so we have a guardian. Yes, we have a shepherd. Bow, bow, bow. We have a ratter. 
So the other two left are Artisan and Stray, correct? Oh, and Hunter. And Hunter. Um, I am going to go with a Stray. So we got a stray. Oh, you got that stray cat strut, I see. <laughs> stray dog strut. Meow. No. Meow. No. <laughs> no. Meow. <laughs> Meow is not the time or the place. Meow. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to start with the stray and go backwards through the group here. There's some things you're going to note down. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm ready. First, as a stray, your stamina dice are D12 per level. And your stamina points are 12 plus your constitution modifier per level. Okay. Your primary abilities, you want to put a dot next to them, are con and strength. You get to choose two skills from the following and just put a dot next to them. Handle animal, intimidate, no culture, no nature, notice, survive, and traverse. Okay. Can you give me like a rundown on what traverse is? Traverse. Like moving, yeah, sure. <laughs> place, place. I don't feel like opening it up. That's what it is. <laughs> I mean, it seems like a travel based okay, thing, right? Uh, and just so that we're just so we don't spend too much time on background, we're That's gonna good. randomly roll your background. Roll a d six. Awesome. Uh, can I get the die bowl? Oh yeah, yeah. Just pass him a die. Yeah, yeah there you go. Set Ooh. some dice out. Roll a d six. Uh, two. Uh, you are a former acolyte oh, who left the Church the of Man after a lapse numbers. of faith. That's your your background. I don't want to. Okay. And you have an unusual circumstance. Roll a d6. I don't know what that means. It's a six. Uh, You received from a hunter after she nearly died from wounds inflicted by a monster that you helped kill. Now, I need to look up what unusual circumstances means real quick. Hmm. Uh, One item. Oh, one item in your possession is listed as having been acquired under unusual circumstances. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. There you go. That's what yeah, unusual right. circumstances That's mean. unusual. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, you get a number of items. We're not going to worry about equipment right now. That takes a lot to write down. However, uh, I'm going to give you the following tricks. You start with these. Give me a minute. Got to find the trick section. There we go. Got it. Simple weapon aptitude and martial weapon aptitude. Those are tricks that I've been trying to teach my dog. Martial you know, weapon aptitude. If, if, if Oliver could fight with like a sword and defend the house, that would be amazing. <laughs> that is an that, uphill battle. That would right be there. pretty rad. Simple and martial weapon aptitude. You have light armor aptitude and shield aptitude. And you get a choice. Well, once you've written this down. Okay. You get a choice between either rage or unarmored defense. What? You don't get both? Nope. Hugmeyer is not as good as a regular barbarian. <laughs> It's simple. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take rage. Oh, yeah. right. You have yeah. rage because you can rally around the family. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, Xander, which one were you? Ratter. Ratter. I'm a ratter. Okay, as a ratter, you have a D8 stamina die, and your stamina points are eight plus your con per level. And I'm just going to go ahead and give these all to the rest of you as well. Sure, might as well. Linsoul, as a shepherd, it's again a D8 That's and eight awesome. plus con per level. And as the guardian, uh, Poppy, it's D10 per level stamina die. So where am I writing this? <laughs> stamina dice. Stamina D10. Your stamina dice are D10 per level, and you have 10, your stamina points okay. are 10 plus your con per level. 10 plus con mod. But we don't have con yet. You don't so. have con mod yet. You uh, will soon. Uh, okay. So, uh, w- uh, what? Is this right? What, what was the other thing for my character? Have D8 stamina dice. And- yeah. Essentially, the way this game works is you automatically receive max hit points mm. per level. Okay. And you also have hit dice okay. so that, uh, much like 5th edition, when you take a rest or you can use some special yourself abilities, the they might spend but When do we get dice. to be puppies? Come on. We're coming up soon. Ah! We, we got to get the boring stuff out of the way, puppy. Uh, we got to deal drink with our wine. stamina dice before drink you your wine. Drink Easy your wine. puppy Beaujolais. Oh! <laughs> Woof. Hey guys! Hey guys! <laughs> so hey guys! I know your tricks now. <laughs> no. hey, baby. There we go. <laughs> I love you so much, this little boy. Dog is Lentil, so adorable. I'm just gonna put it out there that I think your significant other may have trained the dog that one to keep you to 
Yeah. I'm actually the one who says, hey, baby, more than right. my wife does. And but it's mostly that he's excited about the prospect of my wife uh, arriving. Oh. And so when I say, hey, baby, he's like, oh, my God, mama's home. So the question is, oh, is he your dog wife. or is he her dog? You know what? That is a question I've been asked before. And I think she would say that he's my dog. But I feel like he's communally owned by the two of us. He is as attached to either of us, you know. So if both of you were sitting in the room. He'd want to be near me. Okay. That's the question. Mm. Question answered. Next question. question. All right. Next. Uh, Xander. And so each of you are going to be marking off a primary ability. Mm. Your abilities, of which you have six, should have a little dot where you can do that. I think on those sheets. Uh, I could put my own dots in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to guess wisdom and con for the shepherd. Uh, So for the ratter, you want to mark con and dex. Mm -hmm. For the shepherd, intelligence and wisdom. Ooh, intelligence. And for the guardian, you want to mark charisma and strength. Put a dog dog on your lap. What is this? (laughs) Oh, puppy. Did now, you, was that for saves or is that for the what? attributes themselves? You just put a dot next to them to mark the that they are your primary abilities. They're the ones that you're going to want to focus on. Was this directed at me? Almost. Yeah. Did you mark? <laughs> what were they? Uh, yours are charisma and strength. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Rat- I was paying attention You know what? All day. Since you're paying attention now, I'm going to keep going. Okay. Rat- or, uh, guardian. Yes. You want to choose two of these. Mm. Just, just, just pick the ones that sound cool. Okay. Balance. Mm. Handle animal. Wow. That's ironic. <laughs> <laughs> Intimidate. A lot of dogs are the main Notice. feature of this. <laughs> yeah. Persuade. Sense motive. Survive and traverse. Okay. Intimidate. Okay. Where am I writing this? You're going to put a dot next to it. There oh. should be a spot to mark it as trained. Well, you'd have to write it down here. Anyway. And there's skills? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so intimidate. 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 I apologize. I'm not intimately familiar with those character sheets. I'm used to standard 5e character sheets. Usually there's a place to mark I think it down. Skills. Notice. Okay, there you go. Intimidate and notice. That's what you got. Uh, Ratter, you're okay. next on the line. You get to choose two from the following. Balance, bluff, notice, Perform, persuade, search, sense, motive, sneak, steal, and traverse. I think I'm picturing you as a sneak and steal type. But I think that's that just the, because I know you. I think the sneak I put should persuade be, and steal. Oh, oh, there you go. I think the sneak should be heckin' bamboozled. Heckin' bamboozled. <laughs> I love it. And finally, for the shepherd, two from heel, but pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> no or can't. And so when I say no, it's cano, knowledge. not cano. No, uh, no, no arcana. arcana is a skill. <laughs> I, I refuse suck. arcana. I am a no nothing. It is ex- fine. My existence denies arcana. No, in this game, it would be no. 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 Bad arcana. No. Bad arcana. Uh, <laughs> sometimes with arcana, you have to rub its nose Who's in it. Who's a good oh. arcana? Oh. <laughs> you know, good arcana? You are. Yes, you are. Who's to your listeners, arcana? if your dog emits arcana yeah just pile that stuff in a, on the floor <laughs> yeah put it in front of it roll up a nose paper or a newspaper just in case you have to <laughs> and just shove that dog's nose to that arcana <laughs> yep <laughs> all right so no arcana is an option and okay. heal what else heal <laughs> no arcana heal no history no religion persuade <laughs> no possessions and sense motive well i definitely want sense motive i mean that sounds right on no um, masters no uh, gods. Am I correct in thinking that heal is H E A L and not H E E L? Because if yes, it was H E E L, I would definitely want it. <laughs> I think that's a spell. <laughs> but heal is a spell. H E A L. No. That's, that's not a, all right. Heal, well, then I'll do, I'll do no history. Oh, except I wrote it without a K. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> all right. And now, since we're still on your page, Linsel, I'm going to have you roll a D6 and a D6. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to roll this 12 sided D6. Three. And, or just once? Roll it twice. 33. Three and three. Six shepherds. Three. Your backstory is you are a noble puppy forced into the church to make way for a sibling's inheritance. Mm. Uh And one of your items that you start with is purchased from a pawn shop as a lucky charm before you join the church. 
So my family forced me into the church? Is that the implication? Yeah. Well, how wow. else do you get into the church? I don't know, because God found you? Maybe your sibling blackmailed <laughs> Maybe you? Maybe that's how God found you. I mean, God, it was all part of the plan. Wait a second. All part of the plan. God spelled backwards is <gasps> Woof. dog. <laughs> oh, got that wrong again. I'm sorry. No. God spelled forward is man, and man spelled backwards is nam. These dogs have oh, seen some shit. shit. <laughs> Yeah, how come there's no Vietnam themed dog RPGs? <laughs> there is. Really? No, I've played it. Oh no. No, there's a Vietnam themed game. <gasps> sure. But it's not a Vietnam themed no, no. dog game. There is a Vietnam themed dog game. Okay, we'll talk I challenge off the mic. you. I challenge you. <laughs> I challenge Send you. me the fucking link and we're gonna put it, it in the show notes. Got it. I don't know this game. <laughs> anyway. Shots rat- fired. Shots fired. Yes, sir. Xander as the ratter. Roll a d6 and a d6. And Poppy, go ahead and roll a d6 and a d6. Uh, Don't uh, tell me what they are yet. I have four and two. Just remember. You want me to remember numbers? This background? Just just for a second. Okay. Four (laughs) and two. Your background is that you are a philanthropic tomb raider that wants to recover relics of the past. Man, I got forced to the church by my family and you're a tomb raider? (laughs) What a crock. (laughs) <laughs> and what was the other number? What, what a croft? Is that what you said? Oh, there oh, you go. No, what was it, second number? No. Uh, two. Two. One of the starting items in your backpack, or your rucksack, as they call it, <laughs> is found in the rucksack of a lost pioneer. And then you had a what and a what, Poppy? A uh, five and a one. Five and a one. And where as my- the guardian. This is something you can write down again. This is just your backstory. Because mm. remember, building the characters' backstories is why this these things are so fun. Uh, you are a military officer, respected mm. because you lead from the front. You said a five and a one. Mm-hmm. But one of the items that you start the game with is inherited from your father after he died mysteriously. Mm. Uh, and I'm going to go back to the shepherd that would here go so you can write down your starting tricks. Uh, what did I inherit? Do I need from to roll them up. It Just is think about sit, it. Roll over. You don't and, have to roll anything for this. Okay, uh, you get simple weapon aptitude, mm. light armor aptitude, and medium armor aptitude. So simple weapons, light armor, medium armor, and shields. And you get to choose from either a good memory or prayers to man. I'm not going to tell you what they do. You got to choose now. <laughs> I'll choose a good memory. Okay. Ratter. Yes. You get. Uh, this is under uh, uh, tricks. Tricks, yes. Okay, you get simple weapons, light armor, and you get to choose from either precise attack or second wind. Choose now. Okay, second wind. So you have simple armor. Sorry, simple weapons, light armor, and second wind. Yes. And finally, guardian. Yes. Tricks. Woo! I think it's on the second sheet. Mm-hmm. Tricks. You have these. Uh, hold on. Let me read them, and I'll simple, simple, simple <laughs> Marshall. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Probably all weapons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have simple, medium weapon. I'm sorry. Okay. These are tricks. Let me start over. Like, tricks. Okay. You have simple and martial weapons. Okay. Light, medium, and heavy armor. Not too God much. damn it. She is the guardian. Look at that corgi. Oh, like, yeah, that makes sense. That corgi can use all things. It can use any armor and any weapons. Like Shields. every corgi. <laughs> <laughs> you would know. Okay. Okay, and you get to choose from one of these two things. And I'm not going to tell you what they do. You have to choose on name alone. <laughs> Fighting style or inspiring word? Fighting style. Oh! All right, write it. Fighting style. Okay, and you chose fighting style. You get a choice of defensive, dueling, great weapon, protection, or two weapons. So I was hoping there'd be a bite Pro- option. Protection. Okay, so your fighting okay. style is protection. That okay. means when you wield a shield and when opponent attacks someone that is your friend, mm-hmm. you can help your friend you out with your them. shield. Yeah. So you're good at using your shield to help both yourself and the dude next to you. Of course. All right. Of course I am. Uh, Just like every dog I've ever known. That's (laughs) 
pretty much all of that. So we're not going to do equipment because equipment writing down is fucking boring. Next, we we're going to choose a breed. Oh, that's Yay! exciting. You get to choose a breed, a family, or you can choose to play as a mutt. Ooh. I know what I want to be. Here are the breeds. Oh, I hope it's in there so much. <laughs> I wrote one down, so I hope it's in there. <laughs> Your breed can be companion, fettel. What does that mean? Uh, fettles consist of things. Uh, uh, okay, companions are the most social dogs around, often smaller sure. in stature than dogs from others. They make up for it with the size of their personalities. Fettles okay. are tenacious dogs, stalwart and tough in difficult situations. Herders, such as Corgi. <laughs> <laughs> the people who made Pug Bear, they knew that they had... Uh, they had the, a captive audience yeah, of Corgi Yeah, big-time cute, uh, cuteness in here. Pointers. Mm. R- pointers value intelligence over all other qualities. Runners. You know fucking dogs that like to run <laughs> <laughs> less said about that the better <laughs> workers are the family they value strength and hard work and finally mutts 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 or mutts you kind of custom build a dog I, well those don't sound like breeds to me but they definitely oh no are. they have sub breeds oh you, you ran you oh, can either choose or geez. randomly roll a breed wow well i want to i'll happily oh. stick with the herder since I am a shepherd. Okay, let's go with her. I'm happy here. to roll one what kind of herd. No, I'm happy it. to roll. Roll a d6. Six. Sheepdog. 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 Hey, I like a big as a, as a shepherd, you a have a plus sh- two to wisdom, and you also gain the trick keen observer. Okay, Dr. Xander, gerrymander, you look like you had a choice here. No, I had a question. Uh, uh, I'd written down before I realized I had to make a choice in this particular book of Jack Russell Terrier. Is that a possible option <laughs> in one of these? Um, hold seems on. appropriate for a ratter. That's hey. what I was thinking. Yeah. Like a ratter seems like a Jack Russell. So that's a rat terrier or Jack Russell Terrier. That would be a pointer. Rat Terrier is done. Done. Do you want to do you want to choose Rat Terrier? Yes, I would. Okay, your breed is Pointer, and in parentheses, Rat Terrier. Or your family, sorry. What uh, you rolled was your so, family name, Linsel. So, uh, oh, that's a sheepdog? Yeah, your family so, name. Your last name is Sheepdog. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's how, how this game is. is. Okay, so my... Like the family that rules Pugmire mm-hmm. are the Pug family. So my <laughs> breed is Rat Terrier, and then my family is Pointer? Is that, that your breed, breed is, is Pointer. pointer. And your family is Rat Terrier. Because H- Pointer is not actually referencing the specific dog breed Pointer in this. It's okay, just referencing so that, dogs that, that indicate. That takes away my last name I ever gave myself as Yuppershire. So I will. <laughs> yeah. You should erase <laughs> that human shit and put Rat Terrier down, dog. <laughs> Mr. Rat Terrier to you, <laughs> sir. <laughs> You're the dog now, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, you broke Nathaniel. I almost spit booze out of my mouth. That's the second time Sean Connery's come up. <laughs> what was the first time? Uh, when we talked about sidecars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you got the beast in your sights? Okay. okay. As a rat terrier, yes. uh, as yes. a pointer, you yes. gain, make, make a note that your intelligence base is plus two. We'll determine what the stats are in a bit. And you also gain the trick voracious learner. Yeah, I am. You look ready. Mutt. Mutt. Uh, There's always one of those. As an ability, you get a plus one to any two abilities. Hmm. Like you're a human. (laughs) Shut your mouth. (laughs) The mutt is a fucking chihuahua for the record. Let me see. Let me see. That is the dog that you deserve. Oh, look how cute it is. You do want to step outside, don't you? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. You want to step outside and talk about dogs. Okay. Mutts can pick any one from the following list of tricks. I'm not going to tell you what they do. Okay. Because <laughs> this is how we do it. Brute strength, hardy constitution, keen observer, puppy dog eyes. <laughs> Speedy runner. That shit nope. don't work on me, Jacob. Or voracious runner. Learner. 
Puppet dog eyes. Keen observer. Oh, boo. Oh, boo. Boo. All right, all right, all right. Puppy dog eyes. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> As a family name, <laughs> none. Many are adopted into other families, either by one of the dog's parents or caring households. Some are of the free dogs who band together under the name Mutt to give them a sense of family and unity. But many free dogs refuse to name any family name. Uh, Mutts are the ones who can start with any last name, Mm. but it tends to be more descriptive, such as Wind Chaser. Oh, I already got one. I already got one. Okay. What is it? Hit me. Junk the leash, uh, leashless. Mm. Leashless. The free dogs. They live north of the wall, right? All right, Poppy. <laughs> um, companion, I'm, right? You want to play a pug? A Pekingese. Oh, I'm guessing which companion. is also under companion. That's a companion. Yeah, but they are they are also fierce protectors. The companion example family names are Affenpinscher, Chihuahua, Papillon. Pomeranian, Pug, and Shih Tzu. Pekingese. That's a Pekingese. I'm going I'm I'm right. to well, do Pekingese. So make I'll a note Reginald that your Sheep charisma dog. is plus two. <laughs> okay, charisma is plus two. And you also have puppy dog eyes. Yay! <laughs> Whoever wrote this game, I believe it was Eddie Webb, who is on my Google Plus list. Written by Eddie Webb. Eddie Webb, you're a fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> this is top quality shit, dog. Dog. <laughs> dog. dog. I grew right. I grew up with Pekingese, and they are fierce protectors and also really funny and really just lovely All right, dogs. Next, you each get to choose a background. Background? Just, oh, as opposed to our background. I just came yeah. up with a great first name. I'm sorry. Well, I'm your, background, your, your background has a thing. So Ooh. here's what I'm going to do. There's no random roll table on this, so I'm going to read them off. Uh, I am a military officer. Okay, then... Yours is either going to be noble or soldier. Which one of those sounds interesting to you? Noble. Okay, make a note that your background is noble. I'm going to read the rest of them off. And the uh, the remaining three of you, listen. If any of these appeal to you, read it down. Acolyte. Common folk. Criminal. Free dog. Merchant. Noble. Sage. Soldier. That's it. Hey, Lencel, are you going to take the Acolyte? Okay, I'm taking the Acolyte. I think that Reginald Sheepdog is just a member of the common folk. He was forced into the church, ultimately. This is for background, right? This is for background. Okay. But it's for little background, not big background. (laughs) There's two backgrounds on the sheet. It's whatever the background up there is. Yeah. Yeah. Top. You would write it down. The background is from that. Okay, so, and Xander, which one do you pick? Criminal. Criminal. I'm a tomb leader. Uh, like, I'm what, go what do you want? <laughs> alphabetically here. What, you picked what? Common uh, the folk? common folk. All right. Starting for the top. Acolyte? Acolyte. Acolyte. You have the following two skills trained. Uh, no religion and sense motive. Oh, this gets better. And you also gain the following trick. Acolyte of man. Common folk. You have the following skills. Handle animal and survive. <laughs> And you have the trick, folk hero. Hmm. Criminal. Yes. You have the following skills of bluff and sneak. Heck and bamboozle. Loving it. And you have the trick of friend in low places. Yeah, I do. And oh, finally, s- noble. So many songs I want to sing. Noble, you have the yes. following skills Got that it. are trained. The- <sighs> no history and persuade. And you have the trick of good breeding yeah i do hey what was the uh the three there were three no skills no history no religion and no no heal arcana. no arcana you know i'm gonna change my skill for it. and then there was no heal as well no heal there was not a no heal skill. there was just heal there was just oh, a heal, heal. Skill. okay oh i've got friends in low places what are my favorite karaoke songs to do because i can do garth drown. brooks's voice <laughs> Wonderfully. Can you do Chris Gaines? Though? I was about to ask the same <laughs> Sadly, you know what? Even Sadly, Garth I can't. It's just out of my range. You know, his voice is just a little too poppy and catchy for me. <laughs> it's it's a little too what? Poppy and catchy. Poppy. Poppy. Yeah. Huh. 
Maybe I could do it. All right. And now we're switching to a new booze. What we got? We got the Adam from mm. Hair of the Dog. <laughs> Party Old World Ale, bottle conditioned. Also, no. 10% alcohol. Jesus Holy Christ. Shit. Hair of the Dog Brewery. <laughs> that that around. Way, if you want to sponsor a podcast <laughs> and promote your dog themed beers, yeah. let us know. Yeah. We're taking suggestions. Hair of the dog, I'd like to point out you do have a tasting room and we'd love to come and do a live recording there. Mm. We may be live. live. Yeah, with these we, will characters. This, we will run this game with these characters if you sponsor us. This ale is a recreation of an historic <laughs> beer style once produced in Dortmund, Germany. The flavors in this beer have been compared to chocolate, smoke, leather, and figs. My God, you have read everything that I love in a beer. That's not on there. I'm just saying that out loud. Uh, brewed in loving memory of Adam. Oh, God. Uh, Kurt Cheval, brewer and friend. So, bottoms up. For ladies and gentlemen who cannot see this because this is a audio medium, I, I believe that the good doctor is on his knees proposing some sort of oath to Lencel for bringing Adam. <laughs> so, I would like to note that Mike. Like every of the hair of the dog beers that we've had this evening, this is the Adam and the Bulldog because they are bulldog lovers at Hair of the yeah. Dog. And Hair That's of the well Dog, they should. If you're listening, let me see. I fucking love you. Now this one has a bulldog with oh. like a fedora and a <laughs> cigar. <laughs> Wait, right on. So Adam, one. Adam is like a gangsta. Can of, can of beer. <laughs> Hold on. I'm Adam is delicious. Oh, look how smart he looks. <laughs> anyway, let's keep moving on. Fire. Next thing you need to do is assign your ability scores. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Now, again, this is Dungeons Are and Dragons. Excited? Can we roll? Are you excited? Do you want to roll You don't. Dice? You don't. Well, you know God, what? You it. know what? <laughs> If you want to fucking roll, I'll let you roll. I do want to roll. Now, here's how it works. Okay, I'm you ready. You get the Ooh. choice. Okay. That's thick. Yeah. This, thing's, this thing's rolling out like you molasses. You gotta choose before you roll. I'm I'm so ready. All right, so hold you on. Know, I like you. Here's how it works. I'm ready. Are y'all listening? you are not listening. You're not That's fucking okay. listening. No, no. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yes. You think this is a... Fucking game, hey, boys. Thing. You boys. think this is a game, Mister? Oh wait, boys, watch me, watch All right. me, good boys. <laughs> it's a good boy. Okay, so here's what you get to do. Yes, you get to either roll four d six, drop the lowest. In, in order. you roll them in order. Oh yeah. Or, or, you can assign them as you wish. 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, and 8. What a crap. I also speak English. What was that? I'm rolling, baby. You know what? Here's the deal. Roll, roll, roll. I, as a game master, love rolling dice. Yes. Especially for character creation. However, yes. this is down the line. Just know what you're getting into. Oh, I'm getting into it. <laughs> How many dice okay. are we rolling? I'm I am forty six and you drop the lowest. Yeah, Lin yeah, the, Lintel, you're closest. Hand me the ball. I need ones with numbers on them. Booyah! I don't want pips. <laughs> I need I had a hard day. I'm needy. I don't oh, yeah. these dice out. <laughs> <laughs> I just dropped one. Eat it, Ratter. Eat it. <laughs> Eat it, Ratter! Uh, that was your second roll, you piece of shit. <laughs> your first one was not nearly yeah, that amazing. You need to roll these in order, because that's how I do. All right, that's so roll, roll down the line. That's a really good roll. It's, hmm? Wow, it's a 15. Roll down the line. Not great, but... Okay. Well, I need you to seriously A few moments later. Ooh. Wow. So I'm dropping my four. Dropping your four? Holy smokes! The two of you guys, crazy town. <laughs> okay, we're rolling so we're, our. We're, we're going thing order here? down the down the line of stats. What was that, Jacob? That was like a, no, 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 no. That was a what a four? Two sixes that and was a three. A five, right? a six, and a three. Is that a fifteen? Yeah, two no, sixes. Two sixes. Yeah, and two a sixes, a one, and a three. Right. You no, drop the a one. five, a six, a one, and a three. So fifteen. No, no there's two sixes. There were two sixes. You son of a bitch! You. you there, there were two sixes. I stepped are, back from the. There were two sixes. Are you on me, motherfucker? About that plus one. Are you cussing at me? Are you cussing <laughs> at me? Sorry. Um. 
Whatever, go with it. Yeah, I'm it was, so it was confused, so, so but it's just we're fascinating. Going, we're going straight down the line, right? <laughs> cool. like, if you're rolling, you're straight going down straight down the line. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's do so it. we're taking the total of these four. Well, you subtract the lowest one and then you take subtract the, the lowest one. That does math. Hey, Daniel, it's not really that much math. It's oh. just going which one of them is the worst. I'm getting rid of it. Okay. <laughs> you keep showing me these numbers, Jacob, but they're not that. This is this That's is just a, I what? This is astoundingly well. With my wisdom bonus, I actually have a 17 wisdom. Fantastic. No, good job. Good job. I was expecting your I was lowest expecting, to be wisdom. I kind of yeah. was hoping that I'd have a stat lower than a Jacob, than you a keep 10. looking at me like these are some special stats because you're used to my other game, which is 3d6 down the line. Ooh, well, that's really painful. That's true. <laughs> that, that, that is true. That's really painful. <laughs> but you're I like, like, oh, 3D6. I got a 14. I'm like, what the fuck ever? If you're rolling 3d6, <laughs> I feel like you should be able to slot them in where you like. But if you're yeah. rolling 4d6 and dropping the Awesome. It's kind of okay to be. Oh shit! What'd you get? A five intelligence. Yes. <laughs> Ouch! Ow. Yes. <laughs> Even dropping the Lewis. Yes. You get three ones. You are oh. a Pekingese, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've made a you great probably decision. Probably wet yourself with someone not, who comes to the room. It, it, you rolled incredibly well. You. Yeah. Fourteen, eighteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, ten. <laughs> oh, this is saving throw. Oh, Why don't you bring them in the I can run them in the saving throw slot instead of in the attribute slot. Uh, oh, yeah, I gotta move them. Okay, 6 yeah, yeah, and sorry, 6, 12. Sorry. 12, <laughs> 6, so I, uh, 12 plus 4 is 16. I uh, 16 charisma. Well. Hey, that's solid. Plus two. You, you got a You have an charisma. 18 charisma. Holy yeah. shit. Shit. I'm a Pekingese motherfucker. She's also a I'm dummy. I'm cute as fuck. <laughs> cute as fuck, but a dummy. Yeah, <laughs> so, 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 so with my modifiers, my lowest is 11. What's your highest? 16. Okay. I'm a 10 to 17 stretch, so that's pretty solid. <laughs> I feel like yeah, a yeah, 10 well. to 18. Yeah. 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 I'm always happy when my highest roll is in the stat that I actually get a benefit to. <laughs> My my lowest roll was the one I got a benefit to. <laughs> now, I must note, <laughs> dear listener, that the book doesn't normally give you the option to roll your stats. No, you're However, supposed to use the points. I'm fucking old school. Yeah. I could have had them roll 3d6 down the line and suffered. But these are fun dogs, and we want to see them succeed. Mm. Woof. I love the idea of a dog warrior guardian with an intelligence of five. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Here, here is okay. here is uh, no <laughs> here is princess. <laughs> Don't you mean Roomba? No, yeah, that dog no. is low to the ground. Her, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a Roomba. We're we're, we're my, the joke that we came up with the other because I really want to get a Pekingese because I grew up with them and they're amazing. Is that we're gonna get their. <laughs> We call them mop dogs. Your mop screen has changed. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. To underwear. Yeah, I thought it was speaking <laughs> easy. <laughs> they bring you your underwear. It's like you're sitting here talking, and I'm like, and there's just like underwear. All I see is lingerie. What, what, underwear? Let me see. No, the underwear. there's no underwear. Oh. It was jockey. It wasn't that exciting. But it was comfortable. And underwear. Okay. No, anyway, little peonies. Underwear aside. Little puppy peonies. I want to know what your stats are. I'm going to go from the left around the table. Just Jacob, what you got? Strength of 14, Dex of 18, Con of 15, Intelligence of 15, Wisdom of 16, Charisma of 10. Did you add in the plus two bonus that you got for or the plus one and the plus one? Yes, that is with the plus one, plus one. All right, Ratter, what do you have? Uh, with my uh, <laughs> addendums, I have a strength of 16, a Dex of 12, a Con of 15, Intelligence of 11. Wisdom, 13. Charisma, 14. I did well for myself. Good job. <laughs> Linsel. Uh, Great rolling there. Reginald rolling. Sheepdog, who I'm thinking of nicknaming Bangs. Bangs! Uh, Bangs! <laughs> uh, he's got a strength of 10, a dex of 11. His intelligence and his charisma are both 14. His constitution is 15. And he is a wise motherfucker at 17. All right. And Poppy, rounding us out. Ahem. Start from your highest and work down to your lowest. So I am Princess. The Pekingese. <laughs> princess the Guardian. Pekingese Guardian. Princess Guardian, noble <laughs> military officer. Princess so you are you Princess Pekingese. I am Princess Pekingese. Uh, I have a <laughs> strength of 12. That's your highest stat? A oh, okay. 
Oh, you want me to go top to bottom? Whatever. Starting go, over. Go in order. Wait, click click the thing. <laughs> Starting over. Click it. Okay, I have a charisma of 16. 18, actually. 18, because I got a plus two. Booyah. Strength of 12. Dexterity of 12. A constitution of 11. A wisdom of nine. And an intelligence of five. She is a dummy. <laughs> but she is charming as fuck. Yeah, you know, I feel like if you're going to be a guardian, uh, being a charming guardian is a boon. I don't know if it's as much of a boon as being a strong and healthy guardian. But hey, you got to do what you got to do. Strength and dex plus one. I mean, yeah, she can on, at least carry need. her own in a fight. Yeah. But yeah. for the most part, she's going to rely on that armor. <laughs> yeah. I have... The best armor. Yeah. And it's shiny. And it's and pink. <laughs> yeah. And it shows off your hair so nicely. I just said just so. It's so good. <laughs> All right. You got your background. You got your calling. You got your breed. You got your assigned abilities. Yeah. And here's what you're going to do is write down next to the assigned abilities. You have ability modifiers. Mm. Now, each of these is based, again, on 5th edition D&D. So here's how it works. Every even number of a uh, ability of an ability will grant you a modifier. And we're going to start from the top here with that 18. You have a plus four next to the modifier there. Right, what? Yeah, I think you were the only 18 in the group. Two. Oh, well, okay. I have a cried out. You have an 18 in. So confused. Okay. I rolled a 17 and got plus one. So each of your ability scores should have a spot for modifiers next that's to it. Charisma, yeah, it's the but gray I already oval. had a plus two in my charisma. Well, that's the plus two to your charisma. So you just change this to eighteen. This is where you're going to oh, add. This is yeah. where you're going to add the modifier for whenever you use charisma. Gotcha. So eighteen. So I have a twenty charisma. No, you have an eighteen charisma. But you have an eighteen charisma. For? That's what changed it from a sixteen to an eighteen. I'm so confused. <laughs> What's the plus four for? Just erase that plus two that's and write eighteen. <laughs> So what's the plus four? That's four. every time you do anything that involves you charisma. Do anything that involves charisma, you're going to add, add a plus add four. A plus so where do I write it? You write it here. You just write plus four. It's, just <laughs> okay. not, it's not plus four to the eighteen. It's plus four to anything that you do with that eighteen. <laughs> it's so confusing. <laughs> so am I understanding that uh, ten and eleven would be nothing? Ten or eleven or nothing. Twelve and thirteen plus, plus one, one. Fourteen and fifteen plus two. 16, 17 plus 3, and Correct. 18 and above. Fair enough. So with that 16 five, and 17 is plus 3? Yeah. My my intelligence of 5? With your intelligence of oh, 5, yeah. your mm -hmm. modifier minus next to three? it is minus 3. No! <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> 14. Plus 2? Plus 2. Oh, no. Yeah, plus 2. But you're cute. I'm so cute. Uh, 13. <laughs> 13 is plus 2. Yep. I will protect oh, your oh, household. No, no. 12, 12 and 13 are plus 1. Sorry. Yeah. And the I will also... Even numbers are where it goes up. I will also crawl inside your sleeves and keep you warm. Yeah. 14 and 15 is plus 2. Yeah. Big sleeves. Bigger sleeves than that. Nothing. 10, 11. Or I think Chinese robes. Robes. Yeah, they would there. sit in the Good. little... The yeah, little like sleeves and keep you warm. I feel the little lion good. dogs. You know what the the uh, the the myth about how a Pekingese came into being is that a <laughs> uh, <gasps> is that a monkey had an affair with a lion, and then there was a Pekingese. That's how the Pekingese came it, about. Oh, oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah, that's how that Ow. happened. I yeah, know, right? Isn't that adorable? <laughs> Do any kidding? of you have tricks for magic? <laughs> uh, somebody has no. I have no arcana, but I don't have. Uh, I what don't have tricks any. do you have? Uh, good memory, keen observer, and folk hero. But I don't think I actually have magic. <laughs> How about acolyte of man? Is there no parts? Done with our beers here. This Pekingese has her hair braided into little pigtails. Oh Wouldn't they be dog tails? Nope. Oh Doesn't give you magic. Oh Does anybody have anything that says any any magical tricks? Oh, I don't, unless. Uh, Unless keen observer is, I don't think so. I'm a shepherd with no magic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not magic. Voracious learner. <laughs> Friends in low places. No, cool. Let's keep going. <laughs> Me, myself. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. The fuck am I looking at? <laughs> You're looking at a Pekingese with its hair all done up. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, you would have either something like focus magic. Yeah, that was not an option. Uh, which is uh, uh, an acolyte. I'm sorry, an artisan ability. Or so is see. the artisan like the wizard equivalent? Essentially, yeah. Fair enough. Well, I think it's appropriate that my shepherd doesn't have any uh, spell abilities, since I think he's probably an atheist anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He appreciates the hurting part of the shepherding way, not so much the belief in God. There's a reason I'm known as the... That's fine. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) There's a reason I'm known as the leashless. Okay, I'm going to look through the stuff here just to make sure. So, uh, Guardian, which one did you pick? Inspiring word or fighting style? I think you You picked fighting style. Protection fighting style. That's correct. Uh, The ratter. Did you pick Second Wind? Mm-hmm. Uh, or is oh, it Tricks? They're Tricks. So. Tricks. Yeah, Second I, Wind. I had second. second Wind, what it does is it lets you learn to push past the pain and persevere. Mm. Basically means you get a bonus action to try and heal mid-combat. Hmm. Dig it. Shepherd, you picked Prayers to Man? Or did you pick he- What did you pick? As your- I picked Good Memory and Keen Observer. Oh, Good Memory. Same as the artist and trick, page 70. Uh, that means, oh, oh, wow. That's actually pretty good. Sweet. You learn a lot of unrelated information in the process of studying the ancient mysteries. You can use any intelligence-based skill at a disadvantage if you would normally not be allowed a skill roll. Hmm, yeah. So I might know history. I might know yeah. religion, yeah, but yeah. probably not. <laughs> and is that everybody? Oh, and you, what was your? Love you, puppy dog eyes, so much. What class were you? Okay, yeah, rage gives you fucking barbarian rage. Wow. All right, yeah. (laughs) What's Acolyte of Man? (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Now, in the Pugmire world, as I recall, men, it's ancient history, right? So being an Acolyte of Man maybe means you know about ancient history, the history of man. Well, like, literally half of my character concept is based on what an Acolyte is. (laughs) 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 Acolyte of Man is considered a background trick. The dog and her companions can receive care and healing at any temple of the Church of Man. Oh, this is getting bad. (laughs) The help isn't dangerous and doesn't cause problems for the shepherds there. Yeah. So you were a friend to... Oh, this is getting getting deep and dark and complex. (laughs) Do you have friends in low places? I do. You have generally unreliable and trustworthy con... (laughs) Sorry. The dog has some generally reliable and trustworthy contacts among criminals. You can get information from such characters unless the act of passing on information would endanger them. Yes. Love it. You know what? There's a lot of stuff involving like writing down some fucking numbers and bullshit because we're not going to get into that. However, we're going to get into the fun part. The personality types? Personality traits. Yeah! You get to choose three of them. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. I am in. I'm ready. I'm golden. These you can randomly roll. Excellent. Yeah. Right. Cool. It's well, we all simple. make a pact to randomly roll them. For what? I, I, I'm down. What are we down. randomly? What are we? What are we doing? Making a pact to randomly roll our personality traits. Uh, sure. Okay. Lenzo. I'm here. Will you stop feeding your dog and do important <laughs> shit over here? <laughs> Will you water. vow to randomly roll your personality traits? Yes. Done. Good. Let's do this. I vow it. All right. Your personality traits consist of an ideal, a bond, and a flaw. Sweet. Cool. Are those on the sheet? Yes. yes. Sweet. What do we do? What do, we do? Let's do it. Where's the each of you, Each of you roll a d6. Ooh. Is this for the ideal? Yep. I'm going to start with Poppy. Five. Your ideal is making peace with other nations. What Maybe. is most important to me is making peace with other nations. Sounds appropriate. Lencil? Uh, I've got a two. What is most important to you is vanquishing the unseen. Vanquishing the cats, unseen. Cats, the unseen cats, like cats. demons. Demons from the old world. Cats. The demons that supposedly ruined the kingdoms of man. Cats. I feel like uh, it's difficult to vanquish things that you can't see. You know, yeah. generally speaking. <laughs> Xander? One. 
protecting your home. One. One. Protecting your home. Next is a bond. Roll a d6. And I'm going to start this time going back the other way with Jacob. Three. Jacob, your bond. You were inspired by your bond to the time to that time. Wait, what? Okay, what? Hold on. This, Grammar. Can, <laughs> you need to remember the time when we fell in love. Use this as inspiration. I do. You were inspired by your bond to that time monsters nearly cured, killed you. Oh, you mean when I received the gift from the hunter and all that? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. sure. Why not? Huh. Xander. One. You were inspired by your bond to your puppies. Oh, <gasps> you're a stay-at-home adventurer. I'm a mother. <laughs> oh, my God. You have puppies so and happy. you're a homebody, and yet still somehow you get out to have time to go ratting. Wenzel. Uh, I've got a four for my bond. You were inspired by your bond to the day you joined the Royal Pioneers. <laughs> Poppy? Uh, one. You were inspired by your bond to your puppies. I'm inspired by my bond to my puppies. And now, everybody, one last time, roll a d6. Oliver, would you like to roll a dice? Not so good at rolling dice. Oh, okay. And, Lynn, so I'm going to start with you. I got a five for my flaw. Your flaw. No matter what, you just can't resist your insatiable curiosity. Hmm. Dutch is in gerrymander. I have a two. You just can't be any taller. Oh! <laughs> what? That's your flaw is you can't get taller? <laughs> What's your You're breed? short. I'm a fucking rat terrier. What do you want? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Maybe it's not just that it's your flaw. It's you're also smaller, something you're self-conscious about. <laughs> you're smaller than the Pekingese. <laughs> you take that back, sir. That is probably true. I don't Poppy. know. It's probably about the same size. Poppy, uh, you I got three. You just can't stop stealing small things that you find. <laughs> That should have been my trade. klepto <laughs> Jacob. I also have a three. I just, just can't get enough. Both of you just steal small things that you find. Like little balls and like the, little mi- mice and like the, little The things. difference is, is you get it get off on it because you're a noble. I get off on it because I have puppy dog eyes. Mm. All right. So we both have puppy dog eyes. We both have puppy dog eyes. <laughs> yes. This is basically it. We have a bunch of numbers to write down and some equipment to write down. But let's figure out how the fuck you guys are together. Mm. I'm not even sure what my character does. <laughs> he's, you are the voice of man. I, I, I get, no, he's the acolyte of man. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm a stray. You're a stray. You're like, I'm not really the acolyte of anybody. God, you are the, the acolyte of man. I'm not, I'm not an acolyte of anything. Well, you're kind of like the militant order of the acolyte of man. <laughs> You were forced into the shepherds I was. because of your family, right. but you haven't gained any of the shepherding abilities. I have no, I'm not very the shepherding. Basic armor abilities, but what are you good at? I'm good at sensing motive, handling <laughs> animals, and perceiving things with good memory, keen observation, and and my ability to sense motive. I feel like I'm a uh, I'm a face of a group, but I'm a face with a low charisma. <laughs> I think you put this group together. Hmm. I think you're the leader. Oh, geez. I I, I, I like from, this from the collection that we have here. <laughs> I think you're the leader. Mm. I definitely am probably the most level as as far as the uh, my stats. I don't have very swingy stats. Not like the Pekingese. <laughs> I, I I feel like my character is kind of like the. Uh... No, 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 no. Con dog. Um. Hmm. I I feel like my character is con- like. Almost like the, um, almost like the Charles Coke of, uh, <laughs> of characters here. What? Um, I, okay, so he- hear me out. 
I am protecting my home. Hmm. I am sneaky. Uh, I am full of bluff. I am lots of persuading. Um, I'm a tomb raider. So really, I'm going after rare uh, uh, earth minerals and mm. exerting them. Um, so as a tomb raider, does that mean you have a tendency to dig? Dig Lazarus, dig. Like, like yes. a dog? <laughs> yes. What's your name? <laughs> dig. Uh, I am Wolf and Stein <laughs> Rat Terrier. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yeah. And so I, I'm, I'm just there just ex- exerting rare earth minerals and, uh, taking everybody for a ride. So yeah, I'm Charles Coke of, uh. Would you say you spend your time 50, 50 raiding tombs and spending it at home with your children? <laughs> yeah. My daycare facility is called. <laughs> Crofton kids. Mm. So, Linsel, what's your character's name? <laughs> uh, I've named him Reginald Sheepdog. Okay, Reginald Sheepdog. Mm-hmm. Are you the one with the membership with the questing order? Was that your uh, thing? Yes, yes, I am. Yeah. I said I joined, I was inspired by the day I joined the questing order. That's correct. Although I can't say that I know what the heck that even is. Essentially, think of it like a, a questing group who is uh, licensed by the king of by the, by the an adventurers world. league it, essentially yeah fair enough you're the only one who his That's background right. noted as joining that group yeah. which means that i think you're the standard bearer i guess that yeah. makes sense that makes sense and you how did you get this guy how did you get the ratter you know what i think i probably made a deal with his wife to look after all of his kids are, are you <laughs> male female Oh yeah, that's an assumption. That's I that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think he <laughs> said her puppies. Right. You right. made a her reference. Oh yeah. geez. Um. Whatever. <laughs> well, maybe I uh, I was looking for Wolfenstein to join this group uh, because I knew that uh, her skills, his skills would be uh, would be invaluable, and uh, so as a result, I I had to make a deal with the questing league to look after his large family or her large family, his or her. Yeah, Xander, what's the story with uh, with your family? Are you, are you the mother or father? Sign, is that a lady or, or is it her puppies or? No, it's his puppies. his puppies. Okay, okay. Wolf. Stein. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a lady's name. Wolf. Don't you gender me? <laughs> Did you just assume my dog's gender? I did not. I assumed this. Oh, okay, Poppy. Yes. How, how how did you join this cadre? Oh my of- goodness. So so Princess uh comes from a very long line of nobles and all of our family was in the military. We we're very well respected. Um, very good breeding. We're known for our amazing fighting style. We're known for being very protective. Uh, you know, lots of weapon skills. Um, but she's just not very worldly. No, not her, so much. Her intelligence is pretty low, and I like to think it's just because she's been so sheltered her whole life. <laughs> so maybe she she's on a voyage of that, discovery though. to try I, and figure I, out who she is. I think so. I think she realizes like she's got all these skills. She knows how to. You know, her heart's in the right place, but she just doesn't have a lot of worldly experience. Mm. So her intelligence is low just because she's really been in the palace or in the barracks sure. like her whole life. She's an officer, obviously. The barrack palace? The barrack palace. And uh, so she's kind of on a voyage of self-discovery. So I think that she's sort of on a um, like a walkabout sort of sabbatical that her family is is like pretty much endorsing. And she ran into these uh, lovely, lovely studs, Hi. as it were. Um, and, uh, even though her puppies are at home now being taken care of by the nannies, um, you know, she wants, she wants better for her children. So she is, she's out here to fight the good fight and learn a little about the world. And bringing it back to you, Linsel. Uh, mm. sorry, what was your character's name again? Reggie? Reggie. Reginald? Reggie, how did you hook up with Princess? Here? Well, I'd heard about Princess's, uh, many skills and her, uh, defensive ways and also had heard that she had uh you know limited experience but was hoping to broaden her horizons so i knew that she'd be the perfect addition to this group because uh she would help to protect uh those of us who have a harder time protecting ourselves rounding out the mix 
Well, we needed a wild card. Oh, just a wild wait. card, bitches! I'll even go deeper than that. You'll love this one, Mister Questing Order. <laughs> I came into this world with no name. Mm. A mutt left on a doorstep. Oh, puppy! Of a family of healers, I became known as Rover the Healer when they adopted me. They gave me to the church. Rover the Healer, a devout acolyte, until he had a crisis of faith and started questioning whether or not man actually was God. Mm. He le- he, in the act of that, he committed a great, great sin and became Rover the Neutered. Oh, no! Oh, no! no! He rejected his former life and now is known as Junk the Leashless. <laughs> <laughs> a mutt of many talents who survives by his wits and his knowledge of the wild. Hmm. That sounds like a guide almost, actually. That sounds like somebody who could step up and take point. He has, I... he has rejected his faith. However, it may be a quest to get him to restore it. I've, hmm. I'm seeing a thing here. Hmm. You are you are the... A shepherd. You are no. You are the shepherd who was assigned their faith, mm. and you were the faithful who was assigned their lack of faith. Mm. That's Solid. like Starsky and Hutch, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I don't remember a lot of religious overtones in Starsky and Hutch, but I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, but imagine Starsky and Hutch if it's like Warhammer. Templars of the mm, battlefield. Sure, Come on, yeah. sure. I have fallen away, and you have been given me the given the quest to bring me back. Mm. Although deeply within, <laughs> I think probably Reggie's uh, not so sure he's a believer. You know, I'm, Th- I think of this as kind of like the Mormon elder who's been mm. sent out to get the lapsed Mormon back in the church. Sure, sure. <laughs> Here, here's my here's my perception All of right, this. So. Feel free to correct me if this doesn't make any sense for you. But uh, Reggie, Reginald, do you go by Reggie or is it Reginald? I like to be called Bangs because I got hair bangs. hangs in front of my eyes all the time because I'm a sheepdog. So oh, Bangs, so cute. <laughs> bangs, you signed up to join this mm. crusade. The what? What's it called? The uh, the questing order. The questing order. You signed up on your own to join the questing order. You're like, you know, this church thing's pretty cool, but I am bored. I want to get out and see the world. Yeah. So you signed up to join the questing order, and your order was like, well, you're, with, uh, you're with us now. So we will sponsor you. Hmm, okay. However. Uh-oh. They're going to send us to find cats, aren't they? In order to, for us to sponsor you, you also have to agree to take on the wardership of this lost soul hmm. who still keeps coming here for food every now and then. <laughs> and we need to kind of, we need to, we need to bring them back into the flock. Sure. I keep showing up for A, the free food, and B, the good <laughs> argument over whether or not Gaman is good. Mm. But their dexterity, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is amazing. Hmm. They are clearly skilled, skilled. Sure. at wilderness abilities. Yeah. Yep. I have survived transver- Traverse and Sense Trick, so I know my way around. So I guess the real question is, the four of us, if we were to go out adventuring and questing, what would we be looking for? I mean, besides answers. Well, here's here's a quick question. What I want each of you to do is look at your character sheet and see if you can divine from that sheet what you are the best at. Like, what is your thing? What is that thing that you are the best at? Poppy? Hold on, I gotta get the words for it, because I'm a little drunk. <laughs> are um, we all? Kind of fast. <laughs> I, fuck, this day. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god, my brain! Hold on, Xander's got something. <sighs> yeah, go ahead, Xander. I am the best at going and finding the most asinine, crazy details <laughs> involved in the most obscure treasure hunts imaginable. Uh, as I have all of those skills perpetually given to me, I have bluff, I have steel, I have friends in low places. So if you need something to <laughs> find, let's get the drills. Faces my blues away. 
and I'll, I'll be, be okay. okay. That is me in a nutshell. <laughs> so when next I on no, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So if you need something found in a bad place with mm-hmm. bad people around, you I know a guy who knows a guy. I know a guy who knows a guy. <laughs> That I owe a favor to who also owes three favors to me, so mm-hmm. I'm one up on him. Fair enough. That is my character. Okay, but what can you do on your own without other people? I can go and find great information. Okay. I can find great information from people because I have good bluff and I have good... Uh, I fucking had sorry. <laughs> I bluff and persuade as my skills. So mm. I can really trick people into giving me great information that is necessary for any All right. task. Yeah, yeah. You are a good liar and you have connections. Okay. So Princess is really good at conflict resolution, uh, arbitration, dispute, um, uh, resolution, that kind of stuff. Because here's the cool thing about being a intelligence of five <laughs> but a charisma of 18 i guess you work mostly on instinct <laughs> is, no here's here's the thing about this well, I'm gonna go don't worry guys i got I, this i'm gonna go at this from a uh from a from a psychological perspective kind of thing here <laughs> is because she's so dumb it's fine right yeah. when she's negotiating between parties when she's helping to do conflict <laughs> resolution she has to ask a lot of questions mm. like i don't understand i don't mm. understand explain that to me so she's naivete is very useful she's in accidentally these doing motivational interviewing <laughs> <laughs> because she just doesn't understand yeah. so she's really good at getting people to express themselves and clarify every specific mm. point because possible. She, she doesn't understand so she has to keep so asking for clarification. Is, yes. So when you cross the... You so know, what I'm hearing you say yes. is this no? Okay, well, how? I don't understand that. Can you explain We're what is it? Yeah, time I'm picturing... It's not, it's not because I'm an catch, idiot. Her catch it's because phrases. I want to be really particular and about this. And she's so charismatic, people are like... Okay, let me try again because I really respect you and I really want you to understand. And she's so empathetic, right? She's just like those puppy dog eyes. Mm-hmm. So people are like, they Which really trust her. Yeah, right? I'm picturing all of her conversations going like, <clears throat> okay, what did you do last night? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so when you say you went to the bathroom, <laughs> what do you mean by that? Could you clarify? <laughs> Could you clarify? Did you have to urinate? Did what? you have to drop a deuce? No, no, Was no, this no. a squat you... situation, a lift leg situation? <laughs> Were you yeah. just Are there other situations for dogs? What happened when yes. you were in the bathroom? It's either squat or lift a leg, pretty much. Yeah, I think I think she's one of those people that's like always asking questions, asking to explain to you to her what they just said yes mm. if you but okay. in truth is but but it comes across <sighs> as if she's truly interested in knowing more yes. about what you wanted to try yes. to explain so but in truth it's more like i don't know what you're fucking <laughs> talking about so, so, so dear, <laughs> explain so, it to me like i'm a so dear like i'm a listener, pekingese with a five intelligence dear listener, <laughs> if you do not know if you don't know what motivational interviewing is and if you do not know what socratic questioning is look it up mm. however see there's, the upcoming uh, podcast between jacob and poppy talk about <laughs> <laughs> motivational also, interviewing and socratic questioning it's super useful there's also a concept on the internet called explain it like I'm five. Explain it like I'm in five. Yeah. Is, is <laughs> Solid. All right. So, explain it to me like I'm a Pekingese. So you brought the Pekingese on. <laughs> yeah, and I'll tell you exactly why I brought the Pekingese on. Uh, my character, uh, Reggie, he is a listener first and foremost. He is a perceiver. He is not a talker. And he finds that the most useful way to actually gain information from somebody is to put somebody who's dumb and charming in front to do the talking so that he can do the listening and determine what people's true motives are. Oh, well, we make a really good team, you and I. I just yeah. want to give you yeah. you is really what it comes down to. Well, but it's, I mean, if it's it's for my goal of making Absolutely. peace between nations, like, it's yeah. all good, yeah. I want to give you bonus experience immediately just for that <laughs> yeah. rational understanding of character interaction. Yeah, well, because ultimately my my character is a knowledge seeker, is a character who is looking for information, 
looking for useful knowledge. And, uh, you know, trying to get that from somebody in a direct way is not always the easiest way to go about it. So you've got to surround yourself with people who can talk their way into it and people who can break their way into it and people who can find it, I suppose. Well, really, my character is more about getting out of whatever corner you get put into. Mm, Fair enough. Because, you know, I'm the leashless. You can't can't fence me in. (laughs) Is that... Princess has a shiny suit of armor and mm. a big sword. Yeah. I also, so we, earlier you said that I got something from my father, yeah. like a, an item. Yeah. And I've decided that that item is a chain whip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Chain whips are amazing weapons <laughs> oh, yeah. in these kind of old games. Yeah, so, yeah. Every dog loves a chain yeah. whip. Well, Pekingese hail from China. So I looked up on my phone real quick like, Chinese weapons and chain whip was the first one that came up and I said oh yes princess has a chain whip (laughs) oh that's wicked (laughs) (laughs) and it's probably really shiny and like Mm. made of rose gold or something it's real pretty do you keep it like wrapped around your neck you know like a junkyard dog style you got it sort of looped around Mm. they can pull it off at any moment this is a classy (laughs) individual sir yeah I I guess that's not Mr. T style it's more like a sash it's kind of a sash oh okay yes All right, my friends we're done Admire. with character creation of this. That's I want exciting. to know what you think about the group that you have built. This is amazing. I think they're pretty I'm neat. I'm so excited. I'm a little sad that we don't have a spellcaster, but you know what? I think I only have myself to blame. You do. <laughs> what? So uh, you, honestly, I think you, if, you're, if your group... You sit and think that about what you've done. <laughs> That's Here, a bad boy. Here's what I think. I think that if you as players had known more about the game... You could have gone into it a little bit more informed and built a group that had a spellcaster. However, what I like about these character jams is that when I run them, the group generally doesn't know that much about it. And it's more of a, I'm going to go with what feels right and what seems right. So you end up with characters that are more, they're closer to your own personalities Mm -hmm. and you, you build a group with what you have and Honestly, you don't have a spellcaster, but this is a Who cool needs one? group. Yeah. Like, you got the nature guy, the wild card. You got the fucking thief, the guy who knows it all. But, again, you got the the warrior who's not the best warrior, but is charming <laughs> as fuck. Really, the paladin down there. Real hard. <laughs> and you got the priest who doesn't give a shit about their faith. Right. The but level-headed priest. No, I'm good. This is a great group. Solid. Please tell me that you have your collar of office as an officer mm. that says princess on it <laughs> in rhinestones. Yeah. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. I mean, she's... Is this a game Yo, that you yes. would want to play? But what, yes. yes, but what is princess's rank as an officer? First lieutenant. Is she a lieutenant? First yeah, lieutenant? Yes. Lieutenant. Lieutenant? Yes. Lieutenant. You, you, are, you, are a, you are a lieutenant. You are a lieutenant. You are a menace to enlisted and officers both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your NCOs hate and fear you. Oh, yeah. Those NCOs better fucking watch out. Spoken Would like you... someone who's never dealt with a senior NCO before. <laughs> <laughs> Would you play this game? I feel like I'd need to get 100%. my equipment all statted out. But yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. Be, yeah no, definitely I would play this game in a yes. heartbeat. It, yeah. In fact, I'm really excited about this. I really like the idea of playing somebody who's like really charismatic and like really mel- like well-meaning and like really sweet and like a fucking badass, but <laughs> real dumb. Like in that fa- sounds really fun. <laughs> in fact, Hair of the Dog, Lucky Labrador, both locations have some private areas. Mm. Um, mm. You know, I would love to set up in one of those and do a recorded actual play of this mm. game there. Perhaps they could sponsor us at some point in order to go and do a private broadcast in those <laughs> little private broadcasts and booths. The race is on. Lucky Lab or Hair of the Dog? Oh. <laughs> Who emails us first? <laughs> let's, let's, pit, because, let's pit bull them against each other. Yeah, because, because, that always works. Because let's face it, at the end of the day, we're good dogs. Mm. We'll work with whoever pets us first. Oh, yeah. A little scratch behind the ears. Especially mm. that scratch right above the tail. Speaking good of spot. which, the last good thing spot. that... uh last thing Jacob oh. and I are drinking right now is Dancing Dog Gin. God, that's good gin. Oh, God, it's good. Uh, in, in this... Dancing... Di- oh, go ahead. Sorry. 
Dancing Dog Gin is an artisan modern gin handmade in small batches. Prior to distillation, nine botanicals are used in a unique steeping process to provide a complex layered flavor profile. On the palate, the first taste is a fresh juniper followed by a oh sorry, followed by flowers with a dry, smooth finish. This flavor profile makes dancing dog gin perfect to serve in a dry martini. Or on the rocks, gin this good doesn't need tonic. I strongly agree Green. with this statement. Yeah, it's very tasty. Uh, gin, uh, go ahead and mix it if you want. It's great. Fox. Fox Den. Fox, Fox Den. Den Distillery, LLC. Forest sure. Grove, Oregon. Yeah. Love it. Ooh. Ooh. What What's happened? Up, Someone What's needs up, some more gin. Oh, buddy. Yeah, no, so, this is fantastic. Uh, we're going to close this one out that yeah. we have a really good group. Oh, my God. The but one thing, that. one thing that I want right? to say so is that, hey, guys. We are hey so guys. hammered. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, baby. Oh. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, baby. Hey, guys. Who's a good boy? Huh? Who's a good boy? He's a good boy. Oh, I know. I know. We have Oliver the Corgi joining us as we are doing a Biker's Guide to Bars character jam. Dog edition. Dog days of summer. The dog days are over. Oh, the dog days are over. We have a fantastic group of characters here that we would love to play at some point. If you think that these are characters that you want to listen to, if you want to hear us play this kind of thing, you can listen to Oliver Bark a little bit more. But you can also listen to our podcast here, Biker Size and Bars. We are online at breakfastpuppies.com. I, as always, am NPC. I'm just Jacob. Dr. Xander Gerrymander. Joining us again. It's Linsel and Oliver. Hey, speak your mind. (laughs) 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 And finally. Princess Poppy Beaujolais. (laughs) Thanks for listening, folks. Again, we are at breakfastpuppies.com. Drop us a line and let us know what you think. Over and out. That's some good boys. (laughs) Now you got to play the outro right now. And always drink responsibly. Join us, friends. We've reached the end of Biker's Dice and Bars. Talking bicycles and motorbikes.